What's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from SneakerFiles.com. Today we're going to be doing a performance review on the Converse Star Player Evo. And, uh, you know, without wasting any of your time, let's get right into it. So before we get started with the review, I just want to point out a couple of things. Um, first thing is, this is a sample product. So it's not exactly what you'd be receiving um, if you were to purchase these via retail. Um, one difference here is the toe cap is rubberized. It is uh, patent leather on the retail version. Um, this eyelet panel and the collar back here and then all the way to the back of the heel there is leather instead of it being only mesh and a clear TPU panel. Um, the next difference is that this heel area is blank and there is no stripe down the center of the back of the shoe. Um, instead they placed the uh, star logo right here and then the last difference is that it states Converse right here on the shank plate whereas these as samples do not. Okay so talking about traction here um, in my opinion the bottom of the shoe and with any product that's made the, the, the bottom of the product is, is the foundation. So if you're building a house and you have a faulty foundation, your house is not going to stand strong for very long. So um, with a sneaker, especially a performance sneaker, the traction for me is one of the key ingredients to making something that could be, uh, you know, somewhat decent into something that could potentially be great. So the traction here is a classic herringbone pattern all the way up and down the shoe. Typically, this is a a great source of, of traction. I, I love herringbone pattern um, as most of you guys already have noticed. Um, however, the usage of it is where the problem lies. Um, you, usually you're going to have herringbone like all the way across. So it's like a full length, um, nothing but herringbone or whatever the, uh, the pattern happens to be. Um, in, in, this, in this sneaker, they happen to have uh, tried to mimic the original kind of Chuck Taylor look. Um, by putting these little segments in there and there's the herringbone inside of each little triangle. Um, it's pretty much limiting the, the amount of grip that each little piece of herringbone would, would be grabbing onto on the floor. So um, I would have liked to have seen a completely redesigned bottom um, instead of making it kind of more retro and things like that. So. Uh, to me, this personally was a huge fail. Um, I could not stay on the floor at all. Um, I had to constantly wipe my feet just to somewhat stay planted. Um, I was not able to make cuts um, or, or what people might call slashing. Um, you can't do that in this shoe. And um, it's not because of the upper or any of those. It's all because of the traction. Um, every time I went to push off um, or if I was running around a screen, and uh, as soon as your foot would plant here, it just start slipping and, and you just wouldn't get anywhere. Um, so this for me, it really limited the type of plays that I can perform uh, while wearing the shoe. And um, you, usually that right there, it would just, you know, it would kill it. Um, I, I would not recommend this product solely based off of tra traction. Um, the rest of the shoe that we're gonna go over in a minute um, is actually great, so it's not all bad, but there is some fine tuning that needs to happen in the foundation of the shoe in order for the rest of it to work properly. So the cushioning in this shoe is actually great. Um, if anybody is unfamiliar with Converse and what they have been trying to do lately for the past, I think, one and a half to two years, um, they've They've incorporated in, in their in their midsoles um, what they call uh, or what they used to call Converse Balls technology. They now have renamed it to CB Tech. Um, CB Tech is not visible in this shoe here. However, this is what it looks like, and um, they're basically just little balls, and they compress when you strike the ground, and so they compress and they absorb a ton of impact. Um, it's almost like an airbag, but it's more widely dispersed um, since each individual ball is like its own little shock absorber. Um, 
if you are scared to try any other type of cushioning besides Zoom Air, Nike Air, um, like the, the 360 bags, um, I'm telling you honestly, I absolutely love the Converse Balls or CB Tech uh, technology. I think it's fantastic. Um, it's really comfortable. That's the one thing that's really great about this shoe is that everything other than the traction is near perfect. So the Converse CB Tech that they utilized is full length. It goes from heel to toe, which is awesome and it's widely dispersed through all sides here which of course you can't see um, inside the ins insole they have uh, basically outlined where each ball is located so hopefully you guys can see that so each of these little circles here um, that's where the cushioning is going to be embedded underneath your foot here within the midsole and um, it's really really comfortable I can't really describe how it feels it's just unbelievably awesome so um, the cushioning in this shoe is is pretty much uh, on point with any other performance sneaker out there you have your typical phylon um, here in the midsole it's really thin but you don't notice it just because the the entire thing is filled up with these CB tech um, balls and uh, it actually works really great so cushioning wise, I absolutely love it. I love what Converse has done with their CB Tech and I think it's fantastic. So the breathability of this shoe, um, it's actually very simple. Uh, you can see here that the entire upper is made out of mesh on both sides as well as the tongue here, making this shoe just as breathable, if not more, than the Nike Hyperfuse. Um, I will actually say right now that these were better in the breathability category than the Hyperfuse. So there's not much to say as far as the breathability since it's pretty cut and dry. Um, you can see that everything is mesh all the way around the shoe, including the inside. And uh, I thought that was a great feature. Because it is mesh, it doesn't mean that you're going to get a lack of uh, support. Um, again, we'll go over that in a second. And uh, breathability category, this thing, you can't beat it. Um, this has one of the best breathability. It has the best breathability that I have played in so far um, in any basketball shoe, period. So the fit of the sneaker, um, I will say, looks uh, kind of scary, um, mainly because of the mesh upper. And you can see that this has no support whatsoever. Um, I've said this also many times before, your ankle rolling or ankle injury prevention does not start up here, okay? It starts with how the shoe fits, how it wraps around your foot, and how well it will pull and lock your heel into the back of the shoe. Um, this, this shoe is perfect, again, in the fit category. Um, the heel cup does an outstanding job of keeping your heel in place. The way that the eyelets run all the way up, um, basically these two right here, right where the brake is, so you see that there? These two are the ones that pull your heel and keep them in place inside of the, um, the, heel, the heel cup in the back. Um, the other two, I, I'm kind of just used to lacing my sneakers all the way up to the top, um, but they did not need it. Uh, however, I would not recommend to, you know, only lace them up to this section but that is where it will draw your heel into um, and keep your heel into the back of the shoe preventing an ankle injury um, the other you know re the actual release versions have the leather right here for support it's just for your own peace of mind that doesn't actually do anything um, to protect your ankle you can have a shoe that is as tall as a work boot and you can still sprain your ankle in them if you're uh, not secured in the shoe so um, the inside of the shoe is an inner sleeve right there. It's a full on sleeve inside, which is awesome. Um, this yellow stuff right here and right here, these little pads, um, it's what they call the conform technology. And it says it right here on the tab. Um, this stuff is basically memory foam and it's placed right in here on your uh, ankle area so that when you do tie up your your shoes all the way up to the up to the top eyelet and it, it goes and cups your heel this these two pads will mold around your shape of the foot which is extremely comfortable there's no rubbing at all 
Um, the inside materials, it's, it's very stretchy and elastic. So you're basically getting a custom fit with this sneaker from here up. So overall, um, I do really like the shoe. However, I would not recommend the product based off of two things. Um, the first one is the price is $80, and that to me seems like a kind of a waste for what you're actually getting. And the second uh, you know, thing that I did not like was the traction. Um, as I stated before, the traction is the most important, uh, not the most important, but it's definitely one of the most important features on a shoe. And uh, with it being, you know, basically the foundation of the sneaker, and if you don't have the foundation working properly, you're not going to be able to utilize the rest of the design um, and technology that they put into the actual shoe. So, um, unfortunately, this product I just can't recommend um, based off of those two things. However, it's a very nice product, and uh, I can't wait to see what Converse has in store in the future. So, I hope you liked the review. Um, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out sneakerfiles.com. And until next time, we'll see you later.